the extended in-depth room tour on the Queen Mary. This is just a basic room. I'm sure they get more extravagant. I'm sure there are suites and things like that available. I'm just, I'm here by myself. This is all I needed. I wanted to see what a basic room looked like. And uh, I just want to be able to cruise around the ship at night, walk around and explore, see what I can see. So that's what I'm going to do. This place is, it's amazing. I am just blown away by the, uh, the intricate details. You just don't see this stuff anymore. Probably one of the most interesting things in this room are these. Look at this. Uh, this is how the air, cooler, warmer air is controlled. This one's not on because it's, it's shut. So you just spin it. Uh, this one doesn't even, all right, this one's not even spinning. I'm not sure why. Hang on. All right, this one's not spinning. So let me change this. Let me, uh, it's directional and you can, you can shut it by twisting it or change from warmer to the cooler. <laughs> this ship was built in the 1930s. I believe it's first transatlantic trip was 1936 and then it, it only sailed for a couple years and I think in 1939 it was then used in World War II. It was painted gray, was nicknamed the Gray Ghost and uh, it just basically transported troops, thousands and thousands of troops over the course of the war. So it has such a, a deep history. And then after the war, everything, well, before that, it was all stripped of all its beauty and everything. And then it was a military boat and then uh, everything was put back. So it's hard to pinpoint when, what year things are. Some things look kind of mid-century modern. Some things look older, some things look newer. You know, there were updates here and there. The ship came to Long Beach in 1967 and it hasn't left. So uh, there have been a lot of updates and there, as we speak, there are literally things being updated and fixed and repaired, not updated, but fixed. They're trying to preserve things, do things in a way how it was done, make it look how exactly how it looked. So I really applaud their efforts. They're doing a fantastic job. Again, this is just the room. I wanted to show the room in great detail. The actual boat if you are interested in this definitely check out the the night explore you know the more in-depth videos of this boat the tour of the of the actual ship the doors the big huge hatches the woodwork it's so awesome you know every hotel they they take a credit card for incidentals uh in case you break something or whatever but look at this Look at this desk. Um, oh yeah, okay. it has. This is, uh, I don't know what this is, but I, I wouldn't want to break this. But I mean, you know, I guess there's been so I can't open this one and I don't want to try to pull on it. I'm not really sure if they, I don't know. These are weird, weird locks. So I don't want to uh, damage anything, obviously. Look at this original ship's fan, non-operable, obviously. That's a, that's a finger cutter right there. Just think of that, that, that this thing is to sit there and run. <laughs> Back when people used to be on this, what does this say? Fast, medium, slow. Man, that is cool. I'd love to have that in my house now. That's, that's a really interesting piece of history. So now if you plan to come here, there are some modern amenities here, obviously, flat screen TV. 
and electric, they had to basically retrofit this stuff in here. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's alongside the original cupboards. Just imagine being someone on this boat. Think about the people who stayed here, stayed in this room and on this boat. It's what a different time. Uh, it would be so interesting to be able to go back in time, you know, go to sleep and then wake up in 1937 and you're sailing on this and to see what, what people are talking about and what people are dressed like and everything, how they talk. And I guess uh, also the ship, these walls are kind of, I don't know if, if it's this that's crooked or if it's the roof. But I guess it follows the line of the ship. It's probably hard to tell on the video, but there's definitely some sort of an angle there. So this is a heater. I doubt this works anymore, but it, they might. I don't know. I don't know. Heat off. I don't want to try to turn them on because you really don't have to, being in Southern California. But I mean, look at just look at the woodwork. And what they thought would be a good idea, you know, you could never do this stuff now. I just feel like people would break this stuff. Like even this, look at this, this is the bathroom or the uh, sink area. I mean, that would get filthy and destroyed so quickly by people. This is attached, absolutely, this was a fixture on the sink. I've never seen anything like that before. It's a shanks, shanks sink. The sink is separate. There's, well, there's a sink out here and then there's another sink in here. That's the actual bathroom. I'll get to that in a second. But uh, I wanted to show you this. You know, they have these windows cut through. But what's strange is it doesn't go all the way to the wall. Why would that be? Why would that be a separate, just for design, you think? All right, I'll take you over to here. There's two... There's two windows. These are quite large. Look at the size of my hand. And they are very heavy. I don't I don't know if they actually lock anymore or they just kind of open and just stay unlocked. But that's the view. How beautiful is that? The view of Long Beach. Oh, I wanted to show you these, these buttons. <laughs> I just, I love the woodwork and I love the design. What are these for? The only thing I can think of is if you put your luggage there that it doesn't destroy the wall. If you know, definitely leave a comment and let me know. This is how you flush the toilet. <laughs> That's awesome. Just push down on that. It actually leaks, which is probably needs to be fixed. Look at this toilet. Unlike any toilet I've ever seen, at least from the back. How cool is that? Hot salt. Awesome. I mean, obviously some things have been modernized, but some have not. Look at this spout. I've never seen something like that before. This is a very deep tub, by the way. This has to be, I don't know, 20 inches, 18 inches, something like that. 
And the tub itself kind of has this weird overhang. Worked right into the tile. Some people, I feel like based on the reviews, they come here and uh, expect it to be like the Ritz Carlton, but it's not. It's 1940s Ritz Carlton, you know? Think about how luxurious this was 80 years ago, 90 years ago. All right, I guess I should try this out. Let me see how this works. Oh, okay, so these don't work anymore. That's how it works. You just use this. I see, okay. Uh, I got excited. I, I figured hot salt wouldn't work anymore, but that would have been really, really interesting. Yeah, I'm assuming they just had um, big boilers fired at all times and they were, uh, you could take a hot salt bath, salt water bath. I mean, like it or not, it's kind of a review too. You know, again, this isn't, this is character. This is, you know, this kind of stuff is, this is patina that you're looking at. This is years and years and years of just, if these walls could talk, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for this history. And look at this, the door stopper and some sort of a hook. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's so they can leave the door open. Strange. All right, I actually just got this open. What I, I, these probably used to be buttons. So then you would just press on that as you're pulling on it and it, it pushes that in. But the buttons are gone, so I didn't want to break anything. But I put a, um, I put a, like a pen tip in there, pushed on it and it, it opened it. So what's in there is the uh, ironing board and the iron. I'll tell you how it smells in here. It doesn't smell like anything. I guess it just smells like wood. Look how many miles this thing has on it though. How many clangs of the uh, hangers has that had? All right, I'll give you a sneak peek of what it looks like. It has modern doors, modern card key. Uh, it's got the old school chain lock. If you're worried about getting robbed in here or some murderer coming in, I'll show you. This is the, uh, there's two, so there's hallways that come off of the main hallways. And I believe there's two rooms in every little hallway. So this is my neighbor and this is mine and then comes out. I don't even know what this is. It's not a room. Who knows? And then this is the hallway. So there you go. That's your sneak peek. You gotta watch the other video. So there you go, the Queen Mary, the extensive room tour. This is the basic room, single bed. I'm sure there's suites and things like that. I'm sure it gets super nice and fancy, but this is all I wanted. I just wanted to be able to stay here. It's just myself. Uh, I wanted to check, check this out, check it out at night, walk all around, see what I can see. So there's gonna be other videos coming from this, but this is, I just wanted to really get in the nitty gritty and show you what these rooms look like. And it's just, it's blowing me away. So I'm going to enjoy myself. Be sure to watch the other videos and I'll see you in the next one.